Hello and welcome to JT Guitar. Today we're here with Steve from Marshall, who's going to tell us a little bit about the new range of products. Hey Steve, how you doing mate? I'm good mate, thank you. A little bit tired, a little bit deaf, but yeah, all good. Um, it's really loud here. I've, so I've heard some people say it's louder here than at NAMM during the... Is, what, what do you think? Yeah, not right now because we've got a quiet time, but in general I think it is, yeah, yeah. Which is crazy. So, can you tell me a little about the new range of the Marshall MG that's come yeah, out? Yeah, I mean, essentially it's still MG as it was, um, but we went back to the classic colours because a lot of people wanted to go back to the gold because it is that that image of Marshall, you know. Uh, you think of Marshall, you think black and gold, so um, <clears throat> even though there's not really been any changes internally, um, a lot of people are really interested in this just because it's changed colour. <laughs> I am. I'm really excited about it because it's changed colour. I like the carbon fibre because it's that kind of modern thing, but then it's been that for quite a while now, hasn't it? So to go back to the gold, there's a lot of vintage modern about in the industry anyway, isn't there? Now? Yeah, definitely. But I mean, with, with the MG, essentially, you know, it's one of those amps, you know, if you're just starting out, it's great because you can get, you know, all your cleans, super overdrives, effects, all that kind of stuff. And they're really not hard to use either. Um, quite simple, you know, in comparison to other products like Code, which is a little bit more in depth. Um, but but yeah, even if you're not a beginner, if you just want an amp practicing at home, then it's ideal. And these these got four channels now, don't they? The bigger ones, anyway. Yeah, yeah. You see, so you can go channel one, channel two, but each channel has two modes, um, which foot switchable as well. So you can go from clean, crunch, then OD one, OD two. And the, the MGs nowadays have st uh, presets you can store, don't they as well? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So. If you can dial in a setting, you know, get the tone right, dial in some effects, you know, if you want a bit of reverb, delay, something like that, hit store and then you're good to go. I'm excited about them because you've kind of you've kind of got something for every level now. You've got the MGs for the real beginners, people who aren't too techie, for the sort of maybe like kids or people who are really techie, you've got the code series, yeah. and then you've got the M not the MG, the uh, the DSL for the sort of <laughs> semi pros and pros. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm really excited about the origin, but we'll get to that on the next video. Sure. But Great, so uh, I'm going to plug in and have a little play around with this now, but thank you so much for your help. We'll uh, watch the next video and we'll go over the DSLs and the Origin series. Thanks so much, Steve. No worries. Thank you.